All right, y'all, so this is the Vivor 7,000 pound list. The, it's kind of like Quick Jacks, but basically the Vivor version. It's loaded kind of weird, just because I tipped it just now over onto the side to open it. Um, this thing was $1,500 um, after tax and everything on the Vivor site. You could also get it like on Amazon and stuff. Um, comes with all the adapters and all that, so that's part of why I bought it. Because the quick jacks would have been over two grand by the time I get the adapters and things like that. So it came in on a box truck. I had to schedule a delivery. And it's pretty heavy. It's like 400 pounds, a little more probably. We had to just load it up right onto the truck and put it sideways. And then I just tipped it like that. That's why it's sitting like that. And I'm not going to try to move it, not to damage my hands. But basically, just wanted to show you guys how it looks. And let's get right into unboxing it. So there was like two straps that I just cut. And I don't have a pry bar here. So I'm just gonna use the screwdriver, which is kind of working. So pretty easy to open, just get one side started. And now we're good to go. So a bunch of pieces here. So it's gonna be a lot easier to unload on my own. It's pretty heavy. So I'll just start unboxing everything. Over here we got one bundle of stuff. I'm guessing this is the adapters. Maybe, oh no, this is the pump. That's cool. It has like a handle right there. I'm guessing that's where you put in the ATF or whatever it takes. And this whole unit just gets carried. Pretty good. good, probably 40, 50 pounds. I think this is the extension part. It's just like a mounting thing. Truck adapters. This is uh, probably the hose for the hydraulics. These look like the lifting blocks. Not sure what this is yet. It has some kind of bolts around. Instructions. Another extension plate. Those are probably good, like 200 pounds. And then we got more adapters. And we get a free casket, so that's pretty cool. Always needed one. All right, so it's kind of later in the day. Just got done with work. 
And I also got some hydraulic fluid for the pump, which I don't think it comes with. Um, and then also I was reading the manual a little bit, not really a lot, but just to kind of see what I need. And it's honestly, first impressions, it's pretty good for a product like this. It's kind of like a knockoff, I figured, but it's made pretty decent. So that's really good. <laughs> Show you guys what is in there. So there's these things for the extenders. I think I showed you that. The hoses I opened up has some wheels. And that's pretty much it. it. It's actually really simple. It's mostly assembled, which is great. I thought I'd have to be putting a lot together. But it's pretty minimal. It's just the wheels and these handles. So I'm just going to slap that on. And we'll put the fluid in and see what happens. says it needs 3.8 liters. This dipstick's pretty decent quality, nice and heavy. That's pretty cool. And it's a little bit oiled up inside there. I'm guessing just that doesn't rust. And I would have gotten a more name brand oil instead of this Walmart stuff, but uh, it's late, so Walmart was the only thing open. Okay, there should be Oh, there's a level right here, which is really nice. Honestly, I'm super impressed with everything so far. I thought it would be like really crappy for some reason. I don't know if it's supposed to move. <laughs> Maybe it's not. No, I think it is. So it's moving right now. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it as far as that pump. So next step, hoses. So we got, I think they're both the same, same length and everything. I'm guessing you just kind of push it in. It's easy enough, it's just like a compressor. So you just push it on, don't gotta do anything else. Okay, so it says when you're moving it, disconnect this, this stuff and then move it. Extension plates can be used, but they don't have to be, according to the actual lifting needs. And it just says put the handles on, put the wheels on, and then you're good to go. That control unit with the oil, I'm not sure how much that weighs, but maybe with the oil it's like 50 pounds. It's a little heavy. Whew. These are serious. All right, I'm trying to figure out where exactly the wheels go, but I, I found them. <clears throat> so there's two threaded holes, or four threaded holes, on the one side of it. So they're right there. I think this is the right way because the wheel I believe should be flush. The weight shouldn't be sitting on the wheel when it's flat. That would make sense. And then I'll show you the other side where the handles go. Just gonna undo it. Put this on its side. I'm just keeping the washer on this side because that's where it was when I opened it. And then the bolt lock nut on this side and then I'll need to grab some wrenches to tighten it. You'll need a 7 8 socket or you could use a 22 millimeter. Both should work. 22 feels a little better. Right, we're just going to tighten it up. And then these little ones for the wheels are a 14 millimeter. Okay, I just did one thing wrong that I noticed. So I put the handle this way. It seemed like that was the right way to do it because of that, but it should actually go this way because once this is down, it's gonna crush your fingers. And this thing is no joke. It's pretty heavy, so you don't want to be messing with that. So I'm gonna undo those real quick and install them the other way. So I'm taking it out. 
I'm putting it this way. And this whole ramp is upside down, just so you know. We're gonna flip it over, and that way this isn't on the ground. Also gonna do this one at the same time. Now, you'll see what I mean if you didn't understand. This is going to go down, and that way my fingers can go under here and I can pick it up. Okay, so I want to try it on my BMW here, smaller car. I also got my truck outside, it's an F 150 right around 6,000 pounds, it's like 5840. So we'll try that out too. This thing, a lot lighter, I don't know how much it weighs. But we'll see if it's versatile and if it could do different types of cars. All right, I don't really know which way it's supposed to go yet. So I gotta check that real quick. Okay, so you could put it both ways, you could do it like a cross, or you could do it like this. It looks like it's about perfect length for this car. And the way they had it, they had in the instructions, the, the handles on this side and the hoses are on the outside. So I'm gonna use the other side. The other jack is different. So the handle's on this side, and the hose is right here. And then I'm gonna put this one on the other side. Okay, so on this BMW, I have one jack pad. All the rest are missing. So I'm just gonna take this one off too, and I'll use the rubber blocks. Actually, never mind. this thing doesn't come off and I don't want to mess with it. So I'm just gonna push it under, see what happens. Okay, actually I did remove the pads, but you don't have to, you shouldn't, um, if your car has all of them. But I will say this thing is kinda high. It's maybe four or five inches or so, maybe four, and then with this, it's probably like six. So you might honestly have to either look for a different um, pads that are shorter here or use like a two by four I could see that working really well to get under there or maybe you could do it without them somehow but I'm gonna see what happens here all right these barely fit under this car it's at stock ride height 3 series BMW all but they do fit And the length of the whole thing seems pretty, pretty good too. <laughs> All right, just had to mess with it a little bit. Well, I'll probably be using, cause I'm gonna use this for my business. So I'll probably be using two by fours or something um, under the tires. So they'll have little ramps. They'll probably always be in one place and I'll park the car on top of them. That way it's a little higher. Unless it's like SUVs like that. I know the first time probably looks like it's taking forever, but honestly, I'm just figuring this out. But it's definitely better than using jacks.
Okay, this one still has the pad too, which is really annoying. But it fits somehow. This car is all messed up. Okay, you just gotta pick up the car a little bit. I don't know how these people in China are doing it. Probably really strong. So I dragged out the unit right here and I'm going to pull the hoses out to it. It is pretty satisfying how they snap in. Feels a little nicer than a compressor. All right, hopefully this car doesn't flip over right now. So just gonna plug it in right here. I don't know if I'm supposed to use an extension cord, but we'll see. Okay, so I didn't really read the directions, but I kind of want to send it. I feel like that's a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You ready? Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, never mind. These instructions are just Really solid. We should be good. Maybe it sounded too easy. It sounded too clean. So I felt kind of suspicious. So the hoses are moving a little bit. I think it's working. I don't know. No, it's not doing anything. Oh, no, it is. I think it just has to pump through. There we go. All right, that's pretty sick. Just gonna make sure it's going evenly, which it looks like it is. Looks really good. So let's keep going. Let's do it down. All right, that's pretty sick. I think that's the mechanical lock. It goes pretty high. Okay, let's go check it out. See what's going on over there. So, those things are clicking a little bit, which I'm guessing is the locks. I don't think this one engaged yet. There we go. Okay. So that looks like it engaged. I'm going to lower it, I'm guessing. I go like that with this little unlock tool. That one locked. That's good. Just had this thing on jack stands completely. The highest they would go. And this is even higher than that. This is awesome. So that one's all good. It's above that notch. You don't really see it too well, but there's one and two. So that one's clearing it. It's in there. They automatically go in. And then same with this one. It's already in there. See the two notches? So let's lower it a tiny bit just to make sure it's sitting on those locks. And I think we're good. Okay, so I'm holding the button for down. And it's not going down at all. So that should be on the lock. That's pretty cool. All right, what I'm gonna do now is measure from the bottom to the bottom of the car to the ground. 
to see how high this is. Because I'm, I'm, I'm betting a lot of you guys are wondering how high we're talking here. So I would say it's about 19 and a half inches, maybe another half inch if it's up in there a little bit. But it's looking like 19 and a half inches with the factory box. Now I'm guessing I could drive up onto two by sixes or something. So it's four inches off the ground to begin with and then jack it up. I'd have to put this on two by sixes too. Maybe you can rig up some kind of contraption, but it is pretty awesome. It's a really nice height and super easy once you get it set up. My guess is I'm probably gonna have these set up semi-permanently in this area here. And then I'll I kinda wanna see if there's a way I could drive on over them. I don't know if there is, but I'll have to take a look. But maybe I'll just keep them kinda in the middle, drive over and then pull them out. We'll see what I figure out. I'll also show you the height of the tire in case you need to know. So about nine and a half, nine and a quarter to be conservative. Nine and a quarter inches off the ground. So you could easily take them off with an impact or whatever you need to do. Well, I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. So. So I think it takes a second to get the fluid. I just saw something drip right there, I think. Maybe that was just dust, but. Um, so it takes a sec to get the fluid going. There's a sticker right there. Honestly, I love the stickers and stuff. They're really good quality. They're not like sus. They're readable. You can understand them, so that's nice. Okay, so the locks, I'm gonna disengage this one. So it's off. Just like that, let it sit on that thing. That's locked, unlocked. And we're gonna do that to all four. This is, setting it up and stuff obviously was a little bit of a chore if they're like in storage or something, but if you kind of have them close by, it's really nice. It's way, way better than using jack stands and a jack. I definitely like it more. Okay, so let's take it down, see how that looks. So it's silent when it goes down. super awesome compared to working on jack stands on gravel it's way nicer huge step up so there you have it the vivor version of quick jacks this is a 7,000 pound version with the extended plates which are over there I could show you guys a video on my truck too if you guys are interested showing how it handles it, almost 6,000 pounds. I'll see you guys in the next video. I forgot to show you guys a demo of using it with a creeper. But here's how it looks. The bridge stuff, pretty nicely. See my oil leaks. It's very nice. And then from the back too, I'll show you. Your exhaust and everything. But the gradient's like a full on lift, but it's definitely nice. Like that's pretty high up. Definitely better than four jacks.